Hi guys, PsychoFox here. I've finished my 60Hz mod and yeah, it works fine. I've got the switch sort of loose at the moment. Um, it's not fully fitted, so I'm just holding the pair of pliers so I don't uh, give myself a shock. So, as you can see, we've got Panzer Dragoon in. Now, this is one of the games that is already like optimised for PAL, so making this bigger, you have a slight. Uh, a slight problem in that you lose your sort of uh, energy status bar off the bottom. So, what I'll do is I'll just get you set up on the tripod so I can have both hands free here to, uh, whoa! To, uh, flip the 50 60 hertz switch. I'll oh, bear with me a second here, guys. Right. There we go. Right, okay, so let's set it playing. Okay, this is 50 hertz. I'm going to switch to 60 hertz now. So as you can see, you lose your little energy bar at the bottom. It is running quicker. But you are... Uh, you lose your little energy bar at the bottom. So that's a bit of a shame. So I was looking forward to playing Panzer de Green 60 Hertz. So... Let's try another game and see how this one looks in uh, 60 hertz. It's quite tricky to do that, uh, bending that pin 79, but if I can manage it, uh, anyone can manage it. Let's play a bit of Sonic the Hedgehog via Sonic Jam. Sonic's always a good indicator of 50, 60 hertz mods. There we go. 50 hertz. And 60 hertz. Back to 50. And back up to 60. So yeah, on some games it's a great improvement. So I'm really pleased with this mod, guys. It's uh, fairly simple to do. and A lot easier than the Switchless, but if you've got the, uh, the necessary skills, definitely go for the Switchless, because that is so much cooler. And cheers to the Damon Monster for giving me a bit of advice during this mod. He's an excellent YouTuber and a fountain of knowledge and a real helpful guy. So, thanks. Thanks for watching.